So sabi ko, Alonso, may gift kami. Cute to. Oh, is it a monster? No. Writer. P-H. So tinake ito ni Alonso, na bunso, at saka ni ni Cali. So yun yung... Cali knew about it first. I told him, I told Cali, I told her first before I told Boyet. Kasi si Cali yung aalis. And I want her to know that she's going to be an ate again. Tapos, ano, nakakatawa siya kasi binibideo ko pa. <laughs> binibideo ko. Tapos sabi ko, anak, hindi kami sasabihin ako sa'yo. Sabi niya, are you pregnant? <laughs> oh, okay. Sabi ko, grabe naman ang judgment mo, ate. Wala pa naman. So sabi niya, kasi alam mo naman kami mag-usap. I mean, everybody would see it in our vlogs. We're very real as a family, no? It's not, there's no sugarcoating. So sabi ko, ano po yan? Nakakaano ka naman? Bako ko pa masabi na sinulaan mo na, are you really pregnant? Is that for real? And I said, oh, ate, how do you feel about it? Sabi niya, yeah, I mean, mom, Alonzo 7, and ganito. very understanding naman si Cal. Si Alonzo, one year ago pa, hinihingi niya na talaga, nag-ayaya nga sa mall. Kasi di ba yung isang mall, ang tagline ay, we've got it all. So, akala niya, pati baby, meron doon. Sabi ko, anak. <laughs> Sabi niya, mom, but I want a baby brother. Baby brother yung hinihingi niya. So, wala, hindi pa naman namin ma-reveal after one week pa, actually, etiquette after one week ang baby gender reveal namin. But, Si, sabi niya, I want a baby brother, mom. And sabi ko, napaka-specific naman ang dream ng batang ito. E eh, nagdadasal din yun palagi. Sabi ko, anak, you know, I'll find out with dad kasi we're also very busy. So ngayon, sabi ko kay boy, na ba humingi ng baby brother yung ano, yung Alonzo? Kasi siguro gusto niya, may ka-wrestling siya. Kasi hindi niya ma-wrestling yung ate niya eh. O, oh, ba? Alam mo, nung pumunta ng Amerika, dun kami gumawa ng video, I will release it on my social media. Pero to give you a glimpse, sabi namin may regalo kami kasi seventh birthday niya. So sabi ko, Alonzo, may gift kami. Cute to. Oh, is it a monster? No. No. Sabi niya, can you squish it? Sabi ko, no. <laughs> sabi ko sa kanya. Pero eventually, nalaman niya, sobrang excited niya. At alam mo ba, sa umaga, nag-good morning siya sa chan ko. Good morning. Aww. My baby. And um, don't give mommy a hard time, okay? Tapos tanong ng tanong, mommy, is it a girl? Is it a boy? Eh, syempre, hindi pa namin sinasabi. Sabi ko, wala muna. Mm-hmm. Ano na magiging ano setup mo ngayong mama to be ka ulit? I, you know what? That's really what excites me the most. Because as I've mentioned in the previous live, I have tried being a mother in different generations. Because these are three different decades. 2000s and then yung 2015, kay Al- 2003 si Kali, 2015 si Alonso and baby E will be wow. born 2023. So just that unique ability to try to go with different times. Kasi magkakaiba yun eh. At ramdam na ramdam ko. And even with my body as a woman, it was different with Kali. It was different with Alonso. And I'm so excited to be going through this journey with baby oh. E. Pero siguro parang sa akin, yung, yung parang hindi kasi nagbabago yung mga ginagawa ko eh. Over time, what I do for myself, like work and, and professional stuff, like in our businesses, in my career, yun lang yung naging constant in all of those pregnancies. It's because my husband was really kind enough to allow me. You know, to be the woman I want to be apart from being a mom and apart from being a wife. So if I were to only expect any changes um, in this coming pregnancy and the pregnancy I'm having now, yun lang yun, yung parang kaibahan lang ng physicality na meron ako ulit dinadala at 37. Kasi I was young when I had Cali and then I was 30 with Alonzo and now I'm 37. Nararamdaman ko lang. So pag may nagtatanong sa akin ng mga moms na iba-iba yung edad nila during their pregnancy, nasasagot ko kahit papano. Kasi nga, I speak through experience dahil na-try ko yon at that point in my life. Ngayon, bagong-bago na yung generation, puro woke mom na. Di ba? Iba yung panahon nung panganay mo talaga. Or, magiging woke mom ka ba ngayon? Chill mom ka pa rin ba? Ano, nag-nagsistock ka na ba ng mga trend ngayon sa mga nanay na magkakaroon ng baby? Ako talaga, I enjoy, you know, moms who are woke, not woke. I enjoy all kinds of moms only because I feel like, you know, being a mom does not have a manual with it. It doesn't give you exactly what to do only because the times are changing as well. So I think just the ability and the power of women, of moms to adapt to the changes that are happening in their bodies and their minds, emotional or hormones. And even, ngayon, di ba, may mga ano na, newborn picture 
Tapos, meron, oh. may gender reveal na. Diyos ko, wala naman yan tanong kay Kali. Wala pa nga kaming masyadong picture ni Kali. Tagi sa phone ko lang na, ewan ko, 62.10 pa ata. Ng time oh, na. So, <laughs> ngayon, so, we're aabangan na namin ang mga pa-reveal mo. Oh, actually, magpo-post na ako dapat kanina ng, ano, meron tayong press code so after this kasi not not everybody knows talaga I'm pregnant. In fact, we really kept it very, very quietly. Even, so, doon ko nga lang na-realize, alam mo, Ms. MJ, na kahit pala marami ka nang nakikita about somebody like myself on a social media, you don't exactly know what they are going through. Even more empowering for all of us to really be kinder to one another. Imagine that. Nasa social media na ako every day. I post two, three times in a day and yet nobody knew I was pregnant. ba? Diba? So, you look your best. I, I, I just have to say, you look your best. Thank you, MJ. I, I, feel, I feel very, very happy and content with, with exactly where I'm at right now. Yeah. And sorry, ay, wala kasi ako kanina sa live. Humabo lang ako now, no? Um, you are on your pang ilang trimester mo na. Ah, uh, second trimester. Ko wow! Na. So smooth yeah. sailing na yan. Smooth sailing na. Yes. At saka, al- ewan ko, parang I feel that I am at my happiest. Um, I I get the support of my children, of my husband, and friends who have known it for a while. And I guess parang ngayon kasi nakakas- nakakatuwang malaman na masaya ang mga tao para sa'yo. ba? Diba? Ganun yun eh. Parang nakakadagdag siya talaga ng, ng different joy to you when you are sharing your happiness to everybody. So All the best. Taabangan na namin ng 2 to 3 posts mo naman tungkol sa iyong pregnancy journey. <laughs> At 37, pero di man mukhang 37. Mukhang, <laughs> mukhang Gen Z mom. I love it. <laughs> Congratulations! Thank you, Ms. Ano, parang, when did you find out sa, so- sa sobrang pagka-busy mo? And not really recent lang apart, kasi na-busy ako at kita. Yun ang problema kasi. I think tayo mga babae, di ba? Siyempre, may asawa ko. Kaya lang, seven years naman nang hindi kami nagkaka-baby. So, hindi ko naman in-expect kasi we just go by our normal. And then, eventually, when we found out, no, we, had, we went to the States because si Alonzo also, we're taking care of him and we wanted to visit the sister of Boyet as well. Um, kumbaga parang family bonding I found out about it I was so happy I wanted to share it right away but of course we wanted to wait for the right time we didn't want to preempt anything um, I have had a lot of friends who have gone through you know unfortunate um, um, miscarriages uh, during the first uh, trimester of their pregnancy so I didn't want to preempt that you know, uh, I didn't want to preempt that from uh, I don't didn't want that to happen at least parang I don't want minsan kasi di ba pag sa amin it's magnified eh, everything is ano so I just wanted to make sure that everything was secured and everything was was um okay na with Boyet also alam mo naman strict yung parents kasi ni Boyet eh so <laughs> joke lang <laughs> sabi ko uy sabihin mo sa mommy daddy mo ha nabuntis ako ulit joke lang <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, but, you know, we just wanted to settle and really wait for the perfect time to share it. And I feel like with all of our brands, it was with Fortima that we felt um, it was fitting and it was mm-hmm. really right timing because... Again, as you heard, Kanina Fortima is also, um, you know, puede for uh, breastfeeding moms and also for expecting a pregnant mom. So, diba, it was a really nice highlight for our brand as well. And uh, don't we just all want to incorporate exactly what's happening in our lives into the brands that we represent? Because I'm not going to be a endorser, ka, you, you're just you know, you're just going to say what you what you think about the brand. Ako, pakiramdam ko, dapat siya talaga isinasabuhay mo para naiintindihan din ng mga nagpa-follow sa atin at sumusuporta sa atin why you believe in a certain brand. Because, you know, when you think about it, um, when you represent a brand, it all, it goes both ways. The brand also represents your family. And because the moral values in, of myself as a woman and as a mom represents exactly what Fortima, you know, stands for, which is Lakas Ganda. And this one naman did not just come about now lang, Ate Kate. Ibig sabihin, alam mo na to na ever since I've been working, since I was 12 years old and we see each other all the time. Na. And I feel like having that kind of strength for what? 25 years now sa industriya, Ate Kate, just ko Lord. 25 years na and still 
going strong and having a beautiful career like that, I thought it was fitting that we gave, you know, the revelation of baby E with my Fortima family. And I, I, I feel it's right naman. What do you think? <laughs> oh, naman, perfect. And we're so excited. Uh, yung lifestyle changes mo. Pero... Yeah.